This next one you could never imagine. You're going about your day, you head to your bathroom, boom, <laughs> an explosion. <laughs> a Baltimore woman discovered what goes down could be a disaster if it comes up. After an exploding toilet blew her off the seat, splashing human waste across her bathroom onto her. The victim claimed she was covered in feces and is suffering from emotional distress and is receiving counseling for post-traumatic stress disorder. So, Dr. Altman, is it the fact that you're here as a pediatrician, is that why we're talking about poop so much? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like poop happens. It's normal. And I have been hit by exploding diapers in my office before. Have you ever had, though, the pressure from a toilet? Basically, what sounds like happened here is the pressure all the way from the sewer system yeah. caused this to explode. And, I can't and she even said imagine. it was in her mouth and everything. Gross. I didn't even know that was possible that a toilet could explode. I mean, that, that is... Plumbing well, can go two ways. Like if it's been turned off for a while and pressure builds up, then they turn the water back on and then... Erupting out all over. I mean, that that would be traumatizing. And she's Talk lucky about she feces hit her head. It, and it's other and it's another person's feces. It potentially, might... potentially. Yeah. I mean, you. Don't, it's even look. Yuck. We are all connected to a plumbing system. Sometimes it does not work as we expect. The one thing that I will say is, anyone here ever had? You know, you, you plug the toilet. Theoretically, it's never happened to me. <laughs> I've heard this happens, <laughs> and. <laughs> You know, and then you go to flush it again, and, and then it comes out the other way, and it ends up rolling all, all over your flow. So yeah, you've yeah. seen it. It's I just this was that. a this the pressure built up in this scenario. I guess was so great um, that, that she, I guess she said that she was actually injured in this, and I don't know how she was injured, but well, emotionally injured, emotionally injured, having maybe. feces in your mouth and all over. And then I think it happened twice that they it would pair, and then she went by. Okay, I'm safe. I'll go back. So what and would you do again? It she's was, never so gonna feel safe on the toilet again. Yeah. She's, gonna, she's need, gonna get constipated. She, she's, she's gonna, 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 need, she's she's gonna need some counseling. Well. So that there's nothing more gross. I mean that I and I know you say feces is normal, blah blah blah, and stool is normal until you're a little bit younger than me, until you have to have a colonoscopy. And that I mean it really is an absolute the feces and I used to deal with urine all the time, you deal with blood and urine but feces for some reason is there's something so putrid about it. And to have that happen to you on your body, in your mouth, in your hair, all over your bathroom would be I traumatizing, agree. like I over agree. the top. I say we make a pact amongst each other that we, we can stop talking about poop. Yeah, so let's <laughs> move on. We're Can't done. We? All right. Let's flush the poop. It does go without saying, obviously, look. The one thing, if you do happen to get in one of these scenarios, look, feces in and of itself is not going to kill you, but good hygiene, washing your hands, doing all those things in these scenarios.